It's the Gear Tester here, and welcome to the fourth episode of my Cold Steel Viking Hand Axe Modification Series. In this fourth installment of my Viking Hand Axe Modification Series, I'm going to show you how to take the standard Viking Hand Axe and using simple tools like an angle grinder and sandpaper, an orbital sander, how you can get a finish like this on your Viking hand axe or other cold steel products such as their tomahawks. So before I used the angle grinders and removed a lot of material, I decided that I would use this orbital sander. Traditionally used for wood, I started with the 80 grit sandpaper and then I moved to the 120 grit sandpaper and then I moved to the 220 grit sandpaper here to just see how smooth, how polished I could make the blade before I removed any significant amount of material. It took about 30 minutes to work through the different uh, grits of sandpaper there and to cover the vast majority of the Viking hand axe. So you can see here I have done a good job of using the orbital sander, the DeWalt sander here, to kind of remove some of the rust and get down to some of the, the metal here. And I'm probably going to have to move now to an angle grinder to really do what I want to do because you can see here there's some impurities in the metal or it was uh, sandblasted or something. And so I'm going to need to uh, work a little bit further down through the surface of the metal and I was hoping to avoid doing that because it would be easy to take off more than I want to. Because I was unsatisfied with the overall finish that I was getting from the sandpaper, I decided I would begin uh, polishing the axe with this 36 grit uh, angle grinder blade or disc. And that did a good job. I continued to, to work the entire axe head over with the 36 grit uh, disc. If I could change one thing about this project, I probably would have not used a 36 grit uh, disc. I probably would have simply used the 80 grit disc. The 36 grit disc removed a lot of material, but in a couple cases I think it removed a little too much uh, and I think that I would have been safer if I would have just taken a little more time and exclusively used the 80 grit disc. There are a lot of different angles on this axe head as you try and not just do the blade, but I tried to do 360 degrees every angle on the entire axe head. There are a lot of different angles, so I found myself switching it out. This portion of the project actually took longer than I thought it would. I thought I'd just be able to throw it in the vise and work away. You can see here I'm transitioning to the 80 grit disc, and then I had to do everything I'd just done all over again. This project actually took quite a bit of time. I was happy with the end result, uh, but there's just, again, a lot of different angles that you gotta cover and, and work through. Uh, and I think I would have been better served to have just gone over the entire axe head twice with the 80 grit. This was a very fun project. I like working with metal. I find that very enjoyable. After covering the entire head uh, or working it over with the uh, 36 grit and then the 80 grit discs from the angle grinder, I moved now to uh, working the axe head over again uh, with the 80 grit sandpaper and then I moved to the 120 and then the 220 grit sandpaper. And I really liked the result that I got at the end of this process. You can see here that the Viking hand axe from Cold Steel now is significantly shinier and smoother than it was before I started this process when it just had the simple, what I would call like a sandblasted finish, okay? It's a lot nicer, it's a lot smoother. I'm gonna have some hand work that I have to do around here on the back. Uh, with some sandpaper, uh, but just to kind of recap what I did is I used the orbital sander, right? And then I used my angle grinder and I started out with this one here, which is a 36 grit and then I moved to an 80 grit disc and then I used the 80 grit sandpaper, 120 grit sandpaper on the orbital sander and then um, 220 and so that gave us this finish and I think I'm gonna continue to work on it here I'm probably not gonna end up with a mirror finish. I'm gonna end up bluing this anyway, but I just think it looks nicer uh, Significantly nicer than the original finish that came on it So there you go look for the next part of this series 
in which I will document the etching of this blade and the bluing of the blade and basically the finished product then. So if you like this video, I would encourage you to subscribe to my channel so that you'll be alerted as new portions of this series are released. But also I've got lots of other great content that I'm producing on a regular basis. Thank you very much for your views and your subscriptions. This is the Gear Tester signing off.